The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business. Right here in Central New York, The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now your hosts, Tom and Steve. It's the fun of summer all wrapped up into one nice package right here on The Local <laughs> Show with Tom and Steve. I don't know what you're going to say, but neither do you. That's so that's right. enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you always have something to say, and people may not want to listen to it, but uh, you do have things to say. Yeah, I, I do, and you were talking to my wife. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> she realizes that after all these years. She's like, what did you say? <laughs> I go, honey, you don't understand me. I don't want to say get used to it because it comes across wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I am sorry. I am yeah. what I am. You, you are a complex uh, individual. Tell us about um, Sean, who, who is Top Notch Roofing's owner. And uh, he's up on these roofs. I, I think about them getting, you know, the, the song uh, Hot Down, Summer in the City. Oh. <laughs> Back of my neck getting burnt and pretty. I was going down on there. the roof. It's peaceful as can be. Well, there's that too. <laughs> yeah. On the roof. Songs. And I don't know, replacing a roof on a hot summer day is Ooh. all that peaceful. No. But, but boy, you get a good tan. Oh, my goodness. But <laughs> there are zillions of roofing companies yes. get a quote from these guys Sean is so um, uh, hopefully he's not listening he's not like <laughs> terribly exciting guy okay let's be honest he's but he is so steady Eddie yeah. you know he's not one of those hey we'll do it he's not that guy and he has such integrity uh, um, when you talk to him he's like we'll do that and we don't have to do it if we don't have to do it we don't want to charge but right. he's so fair if you're uh, if you got a roofing question or quote give Sean uh, top notch roofing a call 4270628 Four two seven zero six two eight eight. That will be top notch roofing C N Y. That's uh, Central New York. Yes. Com. Okay. Thank you. Christina Kohler's back with us. She's part of Onondaga Grown, and she's an egg processing manager at Hudson Egg Farms. How are you, Christina? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, it's great to have you back. Uh, since you were gone, I've done a lot of research on eggs. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, I have eggs he, all the time. I do steak and eggs every day. He became an eggologist. Yeah. So he'll tell you more. But, uh, yeah, tell us uh, your background, though, first, uh, and how you got into uh, Hudson Farms. So I'm fourth generation on the family farm, and growing mm. up, I said, I'm never going back to the farm. <laughs> and I went off to college at SUNY ESF and had hopes and dreams of going to Washington, D.C., and then I ended up... To do up, what? What would you do I, in Washington? I love policy. I love, like... You love yeah. the government? Would you, you're on the wrong, you're you on the wrong show. <laughs> no, I just like, I like planning. I like, like I see, you know, yes. making steps You wanted to make things better. Yeah. 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 You want to uh, make yeah. things better. I like, yeah, that's something I'm interested in. Yeah. Um, and then I ended up in a cubicle in downtown Syracuse. <laughs> and I was like tethered to my phone. And I was like, uh, this isn't uh, this it. Is, yeah. So um, I went back to the family farm. And I've been back now 11 years. So. That's fantastic. Did they receive you back or did they shame you first? Oh, OK. No. No. <laughs> so on the farm, w w explain to me the layout of the farm. What do you have there? Um, how big is it and what your role is? Um, so over the years, we've kind of expanded. Uh, it started originally with about 80 acres, and now we're up to 500 acres out there. Oh, my gosh. Five. <laughs> that just sounds enormous. Yeah, so we're right. <laughs> we're like the edge of the suburbs meets like rural Onondaga County. Yeah, and so vast. we're like the gateway to the Finger Lakes over there. Yeah. Um, so... Yes, yeah, so we have, you know, we have 250,000 uh, chickens currently. And what, wait, uh, say that again. Stop, sorry. 250,000 chickens? Yes. Did, did, are they all, do you have different names for each one? Yeah, yeah. do you name them? <laughs> Sandy, <No>. Susie, <laughs> Claire, <laughs> Bonnie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a lot. Are they all the same type of chicken, or do you have different varieties? Different. Uh, they're pretty much all the same type okay. of chickens, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. But they lay different size eggs. So we oh. do anything from a peewee all the way up to a super jumbo. How do you get it to lay? Do you just say, hey, look, you guys are in the <laughs> small category. You encourage how them. Do you, how do you encourage them to do bigger ones? And uh, so it's all about age. So oh, okay. um, yeah. when they first start laying, they're like really small. They're like peewees. Um, we just right. had that phase that we just went through with 70,000 chickens oh, laying my eggs. Gosh. And how long does that last? Uh, just a couple weeks, about two and a half weeks before oh, they yeah. get into like mediums. And then, so we're still in the medium phase right there, but they'll be going to larges and extra large. So how long does a chicken last? <laughs> uh, about 100 weeks. 100 weeks. That, that, would, be, that would be two years, Tom. <laughs> two but years. you know what? I, I yeah. want Tom to do the math. So, yeah. Okay, so and then you can mold them. You can keep them longer. Every farm does something different. So. I bet. <laughs> can, can you turn them into eating chickens? No, or no? they're not they're, really they're eating not. chickens. Okay, yeah, they're not. So. 
So these are specifically for laying eggs. Hudson eggs, I, you know, live right by Sparrow's Market. And people who listen to the show know that I frequent that often. So I get your eggs all the time. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think that what I learned since the last time you were here was there's a difference between cage-free and there's a difference between pasteurized or um, pasture-raised. And, uh, and pasteurized is a thing, too. Oh, so, is it? Yeah, okay. So, that you could so, so explain the differences for people. I know what it is, but I want to hear it from your mouth so that people understand what they're buying when they go into the, the store. Yeah, those labels can be confusing. Yeah. Um, and so I understand that from a consumer standpoint. So uh, on our farm, we're conventional. Um, so they're housed in houses. Um, they are in cages where they have access to water feed. They lay the eggs. The eggs roll down to a belt that goes to an elevator that comes into our egg processing room. Right. Um, and then cage-free, they're still indoors. And they, they roost, they nest, they they move around, but they're still inside. Mm-hmm. Um, and that might be like partitioned off depending on just, you know, so they don't smother themselves right. in a corner in a thunderstorm. Yeah. But um, And then pasture raised, they're outside on grass. Uh, they have access to the outdoors. They can come inside. Um, that's a little tough here in central New York with our winters, um, but... Um, yeah, why yeah. would anybody do it different ways? What's the advantage of one way over the other? So, like, years ago, the land-grant institution, Cornell, you know, did research. And they. so my grandfather, we did cage-free, and, and they were running around, and they were uh, scratching in the dirt and whatnot. And then they went to the cages. And now there's, you know, some changes, and they're going back. But everything's cyclical in, in ag, so I don't, I don't know if conventional... Will ever go away, but I, we might come back around in 30 years. Uh, well, what are you knows? feeding them? Because it's also important when you're eating an egg uh, for for health conscious people. Yeah. Uh, uh, what has been fed to the chicken to yeah. lay the egg? So, so do you have organic or no? We're not organic, okay. uh, but we do use local corn, local soybean. Um, we mix all our own feed on site. We have a mill. My cousin Chris handles all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're using local products, local ingredients. Um, and they're they're mixing it all depending on the age the, the nutrition is what they need so like right. just like you would feed a small child something different than you would feed like an adolescent or <laughs> an adult uh, yeah. they're they every stage of the chicken she gets fed something different i see so pasture raised is nice because they're also eating their normal diet that a chicken would eat so they're they're digging up grubs and yeah, worms bugs. and yeah bugs and the, but on the flip side when you crack that egg open and in, in the when you purchase a pasture it might it look a little different than what you're used sure, to sure yeah, yeah. yeah so a little darker yeah. or, you know, or you might find like a worm or something like that oh, and yeah, yeah. That people are, are like oh are you people eating less eggs more eggs What's more eggs yeah. More eggs. And yeah, you smile. Great. That's a good thing for you guys, yeah. right? It's a great source of protein. There's so many nutrients in it. Uh, like when I was just referring yeah. to like childhood development, uh, the choline. Choline, yeah. Your, for your brain, you know, cognitive as an adult. Um, mm-hmm. They, you know. Everything. Yeah. Vitamin A, B, C, every all the yeah. vitamins. It's like taking a multivitamin when you're eating those yolks. And and don't just stick with the whites. You know that's a mistake that I made a long time ago. And my doctor said, you know, you're you're not getting in the whites. It can release histamines in the body too. And some people can be allergic to the whites more so than the um, the yolks. So real quick, where do your eggs go? Uh, locally, uh, we private label for Burn Dairy. We do a lot of you know, Nichols, mm-hmm. uh, Green Hills. Unfortunately, no James is close. So people yeah. are like, where can I get those jumbo eggs? We really miss those jumbo <laughs> eggs. Uh, Tops and Camillus and Tops and Elbridge. Um, or uh, Ontario Orchards, if you're looking for a drive up to Lake Ontario. For and Sparrows, right? Yeah, Sparrows. <laughs> yeah, sparrows. Um, but then we go all the way to Rochester, Buffalo, yeah. Rhode Island, Connecticut. So Onondaga <laughs> Grown Eggs at the Hudson Egg Farm right here in town, right? Yeah, pick, pick Onondaga Grown. Eat them every day. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And uh, because of health reasons and stuff, you're not going to be open for On Farm Fest. No, we're not open just, for On Farm you know. Fest, but there's a lot of other great locations. So get out yeah. on September 21st. Excellent. Thank you so much, Christina, for what you do and your family does. Thank you. Okay. All right. Coming up next, we're going to talk with Jeremy Kidd. He's a financial advisor, registered principal at Pinnacle Investments, right here on The Local Show on 570 WSYR. Stick around.